<coughs> Huge patch of iron right here. Whole lot of carbon. These are completely different games from what we've been seeing at certain times this week. We already see two carb high carbon tiles, both with medium carbon adjacency bonuses. Looks like Tozar are actually going to land on the best of it and immediately take the second best spot as well. Locking PB out of that potential scavenger fantastic zone. PB on the other hand getting quite bold, founding expansive. And I find that really interesting because I don't think we've seen a whole lot of expansive wins so far this tournament. Yeah, it's true. It's so really good luck to him. Popular. Are you guys successfully in, by the way? Well, all these new people. I don't know everybody's well, name yet. Oh, we need, I need to mute this. Maybe not. I don't really know. Uh, no, we're not. We're not successfully in, but we are we're watching, watching the your game. Mm -hmm. All right, gotcha. Whoa! Big race for these more valuable aluminum tiles going on. I think PB is going to secure one of them, <coughs> and Tozar will get the other. Yep, that's exactly what we're going to see here. So PB with two medium aluminum tiles. Tozar stuck on one medium aluminum. He does have a low aluminum available to him. This means the underground nuke might be an extremely valuable resource this game, as that's going to be quite powerful against all of the potential aluminum. PB going ahead, getting his steel mills down. He's going to grab up another iron mine, just secure plenty of iron income for to run his four steel mills. Tozar, meanwhile, running on a huge amount of carbon and aluminum. Let's see if either of these players has stored up glass yet. Nope. Oh, it's such a good scavenger map. Oh, it's a great scavenger map. I think it's a solid expansive map, but I am very concerned about where PB put his base. Because mm -hmm. if we look, he does not have very much room to actually expand as his expansive. He's right up against, like, a cliff wall here. And he can't yeah. put down any buildings adjacent to I his headquarters. I would love to see Tozar hem, in, hem him in a little on the east side, which makes would force PB to go completely west which means make, would make it very vulnerable to power surges and EMPs. Yeah, well, you can already see, <coughs> like, PB Oh, it's actually a cliff. He can't... He yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I it's a complete that. cliff. Like, he doesn't have any room already, so I don't know what he's going to do when he needs were to there, start building more production. Were there a bunch of resources on right there? Uh, there were. There was, like, just this whole area know. was just, like, covered in resources, so he grabbed up a lot. But we can also see there were a bunch of resources to the left as well, maybe a few less. If he had found it, you know, a little bit to the west, but he wouldn't be quite so feeling so claustrophobic this game. Bam. Underground nuke right on the aluminum tile of Tozar. No surprise whatsoever. Oh. PB has a very easy monopoly on that resource right now, and he knows it. And does, uh, does Tozar have medium carbon, or he's just sitting on a low? Tozar is sitting on one high carbon tile and two low carbons, all with adjacency with each other. So he's getting a good healthy, probably way too much, eight carbon per second right now. That price is a dollar, he's sitting on 400. And as I can see, if he does need carbon, he can just have that one that's a medium right in front of his base. Yeah. But carbon's not an issue. Tozar absolutely, I think, needed to be using this black market so much more than he has Expansive already this game. Expanded. He shouldn't have played three carbon. Yeah, that that was, that, that was a huge mistake. mistake. That was a huge mistake, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Carbon's not going to be scarce to begin with. He can always grab more carbon later if in the bizarre situation. What if he didn't see it? Did. What if he just found it, like, ah, down there? I mean, there's just carbon everywhere. Oh, he saw and there I, was carbon everywhere. And I will never go to three if I start with a high carbon. Yeah, never. Never. Especially with adjacency. Either. Adjacency helps. I mean, no. if he had one medium here, one medium there, he might need three. Yeah. And in a two-player game, it's, it is very easy for someone to nail your aluminum, which is what just happened. All there's right. no aluminum else on the map, I assume. Is that right? So uh, there is one left. low aluminum tile that PB took up already. Oh, he grabbed it. He's going to be, yeah, he just grabbed it. He's putting a couple solar panels there. Those are massively open to a power surge, but my concern is Tozar, he is not making money right now, right? He committed so yep. many tiles to carbon. Those are all probably yeah, just yeah, leaking no, money in the form of yeah. debt at the moment. He has. Yep. Yes. Like a nuked out aluminum tile that's not doing anything. He tried to get a mutiny down on PB's aluminum, but it came so late that PB just mutinied it right back. What he would have been brilliant to see is if he had purchased a mutiny 
when PB had hit him with the nuke, if he had managed to scrounge together the money then, then he could have guaranteed access to an aluminum tile for a full minute before PB could have taken it back. I see this a lot, people overcommitting to carbon with Scavenger. Oh, it happens all the time. And it's not just that they waste the tiles, but they're... Car the carbon market just bottoms out so quickly. If so you, you fast. Sell it. And Crazy then you fast. And then you've got nothing. Like, uh -huh. you, you have nothing. At this point, you should delete those carbons and put up some solar panels or just something. Like... Solar panels? Reactors? Reactors? He's got the, he's got the carbon for the buildings. I mean, yeah. he could do that. But he's already got a stack of like a thousand carbon. It's just going to sit there doing nothing this whole time. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, if he's worried about carbon, he can delete too. Yeah, he's got he's got to adjust. PB is going to be the <laughs> one to make the first move into reactors. He's got a couple solar panels down. Tozar is going to be sitting on a couple wind turbines. Power hopefully won't go too insane this game for either player. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. He has a thousand carbon. He needs to delete all oh, three yeah. of those. Oh yeah, he needs to be moving out of these. It can be scary. I understand this idea of I don't want to move out of my primary resource, right? But when it's not doing anything for you, you, he you gotta make the move. He can claim, claim something right in front of his base and get it back. Mm-hmm. It's just... <clears throat> That's rather unfortunate. I don't think Tozar is going to be able to do much with those tiles. One thing to note is PB is taking on huge amounts of debt, right? Yeah, Very standard that. for both expansive and robotic players. I'm not sure if he's thinking this through, but it's, it's certainly a very good move at this point, considering that PB has uh, Tozar has no way to get has money. Nothing, right? It doesn't yeah. matter what his price is. There's no way Tozar can buy him. And it doesn't even matter realistically that PB is hugely open to things like power surges and possibly EMPs later on, because Tozar just can't afford them. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, not being able to watch this. Come on, Tozar. It's just really cheap. Yeah. Tozar's just upset about the carbon surplus. Kind of understandable, but I mean, like, why is he carbon? still? No, he's still sitting on it. He's not selling it at a dollar, but it's like. Why kind of, bother? Yeah, he's got to go with those quarries. This is yeah. just painful. PB yeah, far enough ahead, he's just going to power search his own <laughs> aluminum, so that's hilarious. What did he do? Oh, he power surged uh, Tozar's power. Oh, that was next to the aluminum? That was right next to his aluminum. Sure, just not yeah. caring. All right, I'll lose that for a minute and a half. I don't need it. Yep. Oh. Rather build up Tozar's debt, oh, knock his Tozar. stock price down, so he can go you for these buyouts. You are upset about the about the, the surplus. Just do something about it. Don't just be upset. Uh, I know Tozar. It feels like just feeling <laughs> totally defeated this game. I don't know. He wasn't in that bad of position. He, if he wasn't. Just switched, if switched he had just out of the carbon. exactly, he could have moved around. He could have been the one to initiate the underground nuking. PB was just as open to that as he was. Well, oh. here we go. Never mind, PB. You are not the one who's going to make it quick. Those are to make it much quicker. Oh, you keep getting upset at us <laughs> about being mean. I'm not being mean. I'm being just, disappointed. I, I wanted Tozar to play, you know, give PB a harder game because he's good. He is good. 20,000 for this aluminum tile. That seems about wow. reasonable to me, this game. Probably about what it's worth. I get the tile. Man, that's just, it hurts to have to take, but I think he did. Of course, he put himself in that position, so yep. I don't know what else to say about it. And guys, look, when you're sitting on a thousand of a resource and it's worth a dollar, don't sell all of it like that. He made a thousand dollars off that. You know what you do? Sit on it. It'll grow. It Get out of the production. Don't wow. just sit here churning out things that are losing you money. Yeah, he sold all of it just then. It was like... Uh. I looked, turned over, and he was only at a thousand, and I was like, "What is he doing?" And then he just kept selling it, and I was like, "Oh, oh no, that's just painful. That's just hurts." He is sitting on six thousand right now. The problem is, PB's gone and driven up the price on even more things like this glass, so it just gets harder and harder and harder. What for is he trying to, to buy? Is he trying to buy a nuke? Is that what he's desperate well, for? Well, he's just sitting on six thousand dollars right now. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. If anything, he's not responding to this shortage he saw coming. PB is going to get all the benefit out of that. Oh, there we go. Tozar did buy into it slightly. He just didn't notice his... He's not making use of his scavenger bonus. Yeah. Both of them selling at about the same time, getting their similar benefit out of that. But PB obviously committed to it much harder. Wow, PB. Did you really just do that? What did you do? Well, he like... 
he bought into the short as it started, right? And then partway uh, through, he sells so out of it and then rebuys back rebuys, into it. Yeah, I, I've done that before where, like, I just, you know, I, I think you can get something done with it sometimes, but I don't think we're quite at that stage of the game right now. Yeah. Well, I, often I think it's just I think it's just about over and it's not actually over. But yeah. you should realize that Tozar doesn't have any fuel, so... Yeah, yeah, I think he was trying to, like, hurt Tozar's funds, not realizing how bad of a position Tozar is in, realistically. <coughs> That's going to be a fuel hack coming in. A nice little fuel short. PB's going to use that to just probably start going for the kill real quick here, and we should not have much longer of a game. Boy, these two-player games can be fast. Yeah. They can be. They can also be long, as we've seen a couple of times. We've got some mm. good half-hour games going here, but yeah. They can end pretty quick. And PB, I think, dragged this one out a bit, let's be honest. Once again, going for the short sell, not realizing exactly how far behind Tozar is. And he's just going to start finishing this up very quickly. You, you'd think at some point it would occur to Tozar to get rid of those quarries. I, mean, <laughs> I think Tozar just gave up like as soon as that underground nuke landed. Yeah, it could be. We're not surprised. Uh, yeah, I mean, he good squad is high aluminum. I mean, he's, he's thinking about things, but... Yeah. You gotta, you gotta get over that hump of being willing to delete your building. I think uh, it was just... I think it was a complete mental loss for Tozar. He, like, he saw that he didn't get to the aluminum tile first, and then his aluminum got nuked, and he just assumed the game was over from there without even fighting back. Yeah. Well, I think he definitely had a real good chance to be staying in this game. It's tough, you know, half the game is emotional, really. Oh, yeah. When you oh, deal trust with me, I know. Stuff, you know like, <laughs> can, you, can you stay logical about, like, your options? Because the game gives you lots of options. There's the hacker array, there's the patent lab, there's a bunch of stuff you can do to, <coughs> to work your way out of it. Yeah, for sure. Interestingly enough, I think Tozar, or PB's selling off resources as he did happened to catch Tozar at those exact right times, and he even managed to lose money purchasing fuel, so it was just completely falling apart everywhere. His only real income coming from aluminum, and <coughs> PB never really had to sell aluminum, but that's because he was just using it to upgrade and get into yeah. this fuel he made all his money on. Uh, I like that he never sold aluminum. I mean, that, oh, that's for sure. Do it. Yeah. No reason for him to be selling aluminum at all. He had a good stronghold on the game, didn't need to sell anything until the time was right. Yep. Yeah, use a high price as a weapon, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to wrap it up for that game, guys, and that whole series. I don't have really a whole lot more to say about it. <coughs> don't give up. Make sure, like, remember, this is something, this is kind of an analogy that I've made before that I think works fairly well, is you got to treat your buildings more like they're units in other games. They are to be replaced and cycled out to get the correct unit composition to fight your opponent. If your carbon isn't working well if it's the equivalent of running marines just into a like five or six colossi stop the carbon quarries move them into something else yep. and you'll have a much better chance yeah that's a good way to think of it in terms of it's, they're your units um i definitely definitely there's people who are you know have a hard time thinking of replacing buildings just because they seem so permanent but. oh for sure and and people i think they just think of buildings and they think of buildings <laughs> from every other rts game even people like day nine he made the comment like he has a lot of trouble getting over the idea of scrapping a building, right? He doesn't like that concept. It feels like a permanent loss to him. And to some degree it is. But when you start thinking of it as a unit, it gets a little bit easier to make those those mental changes and just get it done when you need to. I think that was honestly Tozar's biggest problem in that game. <laughs>